Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am very delighted to share with you that I have purchased for you guys all eight, that's right, all eight of the brand new Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. Now in the UK these retail at £22 each. This is not the first time that she has released these. These are just an extension to her current shade range of which I have done reviews and videos on. I will link below if you want to refer back to those. Why did I buy all eight? I'm not going to lie, I did it for you guys. I mean, I wanted you all to be able to see how they would work on medium skin tone and just so it would help you guys if you do decide to buy some of these. The shade range is gorgeous. She has named this particular range the Icon Collection and I'm gonna have to say it again Huda, your marketing is just off. She's called these the Icon Collection because apparently they are iconic shades. Since when is coral an iconic shade? Red is an iconic shade, that's it. When she announced that, that it was called the Icon Collection, I was like, okay, so she's gonna name them things like Marilyn, Greta, Doris, because Doris Day only just passed away recently, rest in peace. But no, the shade names are an extension of the previous ones, which are actually in relation to certain days. Um, for example, El Cinco de Mayo, um, spring break, uh, what's this one, promotion day, anniversary, so it's got to do with special days and that has nothing to do with icons. Anyway, let's get past that now. They perform exactly the same way as the previous ones do, they are fully pigmented, they are matte, they are creamy, they are gorgeous and I give them a full 10 out of 10. She hasn't changed the formula or anything like that. The packaging and everything is exactly the same and again Huda. The lipsticks come in this unnecessary plastic packaging. I don't understand why she continues to use this because what are you going to do with this? How many of you guys, be honest, have kept these? You throw it in the bin. Now, if it was a packaging which had designs and fancy stuff on it, you're a collector, that is. And also, let's not forget that you, the consumer, when you pay for an item, you are also paying for the packaging. I don't want to pay for this. I'm happy if you were to provide this in a cardboard box, a plain black cardboard box with your logo on it, and then I can recycle that. This can also be recycled, fair enough. However, I don't want it. It's unnecessary. In this day and age, in 2019 and going forward, we as consumers and as brands really need to do better when it comes to taking care of our planet rant over. So the packaging and everything is exactly the same. It comes in this plastic casing and then it has this kind of diamond shaped uh, lipstick itself which is supposed to help you in terms of keeping your lip line nice and crisp and neat. Personally I don't like it. I've mentioned that to you before. I find that until it's been used a couple of times and the diamond shape wears off I end up accidentally kind of going over my lip line so I don't personally really like it but then that's just my personal preference. It wears very nicely throughout the day, all of them. Obviously a lot of the shades are quite deep so the deeper the shade the longer it will last on your lips. I've been wearing these throughout the month of Ramadan from when they released. I've actually found them to be quite comfortable on my lips despite the fact that I've been fasting and my lips feel really really dry. I also found that generally most of them tend to last pretty much throughout the day. All you need to maybe do is top it up once. FYI, I've just realized I'm starting to look a bit shiny. It's really hot in London today as I'm filming this. It's like hotter than Spain apparently and I'm baking in my garage. So I'm sorry if throughout the video I start to like <laughs> start looking shinier. I've noticed my nose looks a bit shiny, but there's nothing I can do about it. Now I bought all of mine from Feel Unique and my lovely friend Selena <laughs> told me that I had a referral code so that I could give you guys 15% off from Feel Unique if you order from them for the first time. So I'm really sorry that I didn't know that then. I will link it below for you guys. The great thing about Feel Unique and ordering from them also is that you can have under your Platinum account a brand for life, which means that for as long as you choose, it's up to six months before you can renew the brand for life, you can get 10% off any product of your choice from that particular brand. So mine is Huda Beauty, so I got 10% off. And also another great thing about Feel Unique is the more money you spend with them, they also give you lots of vouchers. And also over the past few months, every time I think it's over 35 or 45 pounds you spend, which can be quite easy when it comes to something like this, um, they give you a free pair of Samantha eyelashes 
eyelashes I've actually got about six pairs of Samantha eyelashes now so that's just a little FYI if you're trying to decide where you want to buy it from especially if you're based in the UK now back to the lipsticks themselves I love them I think that they're amazing they're all gorgeous now I know some of you will be thinking those two nude shades which are staycation and anniversary they are concealer mouth shades completely how that is an iconic shade I don't understand it's not I'm actually wearing anniversary right now just so I can show you guys how I've made it work for myself because when I swatch these on my lips they're going to be completely naked I'm not going to be using any lip liner or anything like that but for something like this kind of shade and the other one staycation you do have brown skin or if you've got deeper skin you will have to use a darker lip liner to change up and make the shade more wearable I'm actually using Spice Girl lip liner from Huda Beauty and paired it with Anniversary and that's how I've been able to make it work for myself today but overall, these are excellent lipsticks. The quality is amazing. I'm really, really happy with these. It'll just be down to you in terms of what your personal preference is when it comes to shades, and then you can kind of take it from there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to remove all of this off of my lips, and we are going to steadily go through all eight. Wish me luck. My lips are crying in advance, but I hope you guys enjoy. So this first shade is called Promotion Day. It is a bright, cool toned cherry red this is a very classic iconic red uh, it's the kind of shade that would go well with all skin tones and it's just that perfect red that everybody should have in their collection it's intense it's in your face it's gorgeous but it's still wearable when it comes to red shades which i know a lot of people can be afraid to wear i personally find that cool tone reds are a lot better than warm tone reds warm tone can sometimes lean a little bit orange but this one looks perfect and i absolutely love it so this next shade is called el cinco de mayo and this one is described as a powerful sunny red with warm undertones so exactly how I was describing the other one being cool toned and then this one having a little bit more of an orange look to it now this is not everybody's cup of tea when it comes to red it is again down to personal preference I still believe that the shade previous promotion day is one that more people tend to go for this one as you can see with my brown skin is leaning more towards the kind of orangey sort of shade which is probably why it's been described as a sunny red because what is the Sun it's yellowy orange right I love this shade it's gorgeous will look amazing if you decide to go for kind of an orange look that day but don't want to wear orange lipstick feels gorgeous on the lips performs beautifully and I love it okay so this next shade is called a bachelorette it is a bright fuchsia shade and it is a cool toned fuchsia shade I absolutely love it this kind of shade is definitely one of my most favorite shades these are also the kind of shades that are most flattering on medium to deep skin tones I absolutely love it I think it looks gorgeous feels comfortable on the lips performs beautifully and I love it so this next shade is called spring break and it has been described as a hot punchy pink which is warm toned hot punchy pink it is a coral toned pink this as you guys should know by now if you've been following me for a while you know what my thoughts are on these kind of coral pink shades they are very very difficult for brands to pull off Huda Beauty when she released one like this in liquid lipstick format I gave it minimal marks I gave it a very bad review however in this lipstick bullet format she's actually managed to do it quite well I think that she's actually managed to do what a lot of other brands have not been able to do the problem with these kind of shades because of the kind of pigment that it holds it can be ones that show up quite patchy on the lips that settle within the lip lines and you can't get a very clean amount of color now I did notice that as I drag it around it's kind of moving the color from place to place but if you go like this it kind of smooths it out and it settles it nicely so I actually think kudos to Huda she's actually done a very good job with this very very difficult shade so this shade is called honeymoon it's a cool toned pink or it's been described as a cool toned pink but I seem to find it more of as like a neutral toned pink so it's got a nice mix of warm and cool that's just the way that it shows up on my skin tone it's definitely one of those ones where if you are a little bit deeper than me you probably will have to wear some sort of lip liner to make it a little bit more wearable but this is definitely one of those ones where if you want to wear pink but you don't want to wear something like a bright fuchsia like 
one of the ones I showed you previously, but you want to go for a more softer shade, this one will be perfect for you. So this next shade is called Rendezvous. Not going to lie, it looks very similar to the last one that I used. What was that called again? It was called Honeymoon. Very, very similar. This one's described as a strong brick pink which is warm toned now this one is definitely more warm toned than the previous one but a very very similar color so i think it will just be down to personal preference and what your skin tone is because let's not forget the way that lipstick shows up on you is dependent on what your skin tone is and what color your lips are as well so just throwing that out there but overall again a lovely everyday kind of pink that will go well with many many skin tones Okay, we are now into the nudes, and this lipstick is called Staycation. Not gonna lie, it's almost my own skin tone. It's like it's blanking out my lips completely to match my own skin. This is described as a sexy fawn latte shade, which is cool toned. I don't know what sexy fawn is, sounds a bit weird. But a fawn shade, mm, I guess so. It just looks like a cool toned beige to me. But... Overall, out of this one and the next one I'm going to show you, this one is probably the more wearable one on my medium skin tone. Yes, I can deepen it with a darker lip liner. However, for those days when I literally want to go for a fresh face kind of look, I can probably just about get away with wearing this on its own without having to use anything else. Also, because it is so nude, I found that I didn't have to be so neat with it because even if I went over my lip, which I did, and you probably can't tell, it's kind of blended into my own skin tone. So... Take from that what you will. So this last shade is Anniversary, which is the one that you saw me wearing at the beginning of the video. This is how it looks completely naked with no lip liner or anything used. Yes, it is a little bit more warm toned. This is described as a posh pink suede. What the hell is a posh pink suede? What's a posh pink? I don't understand. This is beige. This is a warm toned beige and the other one was a cool toned beige. That's it really. Again, I can just about get away with it, but personally, I like to have a little bit more colour to it. I feel that it just kind of erases my lips a bit too much. Uh, for many of you, this will be a concealer mouth kind of shade. Uh, so you will have to use a lip liner depending on what colour you want it to be. So a brown or a pink or a purple or that sort of thing. And then you can turn it into your own shade. But overall... If you've got my skin tone, you probably will be able to get away with wearing it on its own like this. Just for reference in Huda Beauty's foundations, I am in the shade Baklava. And at the moment, I'm wearing Dior's uh, Forever Foundation in the shade 3W. But I am starting to get darker because it's 27 degrees in this room right now. And it is the same outside. So steadily, <laughs> I'm getting darker and darker. I'm fine with that. But anyway... What I'm going to do quickly is, now that you've seen how it looks on its own, let me just add a little bit of lip liner. Which is the shade Spice Girl by Huda Beauty, by the way. All of her lip liners can be used with any of these shades. I've got quite a few. So I'm just darkening it a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm blending it together. Excuse that noise, that's my door. It's not me, I promise. <laughs> I've had to open the garage door because it's so hot in here. I swear my background is actually acting as a wind filter because I can't feel any of that air coming this way. And that's it. So now I've made it the kind of shade that I wanted it to be. So that's it for my review of the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. And in case you are wondering what I am wearing on my eyes, the next video coming up will be the review of these. Huda Beauty has done like five, six releases through the month of May. She really is putting it all out there to buy that private jet from us because this is, I think, the last thing. It literally came out on the last day of May and um, it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I will film a review of that tomorrow and then that will come following this video so i hope you guys are wonderful and great and you found this video useful and helpful if you've got any comments or questions about the lipsticks uh ask me below other than that i hope you guys are wonderful and great and i'll see you all in the next video